In this video I will be reading to you chapter 2 of the book Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This chapter is called Dobby's Warning. So let's get started. Harry Potter went upstairs to his bedroom which used to be warm to his cousin Dudley. When he went in he could see something jumping about in his bed. He looked at it and said, Excuse me, who are you? It looked at Harry and said, My name is Dobby the House Elf. I am here to warn you. Harry looked at Dobby and said, Why, now is not really a good time for me to be having a house elf in my bedroom. If the Dursley's here, you especially Mr. Dursley. I'll be in big trouble. Dobby looked at Harry and said, Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If he goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot to make most terrible things happen. Harry said, Who is plotting them, Dobby? What terrible things? Dobby said to Harry, I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is there is a plot, Harry Potter to make most terrible things happen, so you must say you're not going back to school. I can't, said Harry. School's where I belong. I'm better off at Hogwarts than I am here with the Dursleys. Anybody knows that, said Harry. Dobby will have to shut his ears in an oven door for doing this. He's not allowed to leave and be set free, unless the wizarding family Dobby's serving gives him Close, said Dobby. Dobby walked over to where the lamp was, picked it up and whacked it off his head. Stop doing that. The dust whistle here, you'll get in trouble, said Harry. Harry could hear footsteps. Get in that wardrobe now, said Harry, throwing Dobby into the wardrobe. A few seconds later, Mr. Dursley walked into the bedroom. What the heck is going on here, said Mr. Dursley. Nothing, said Harry. It didn't sound like nothing to me. One more noise and that's it, said Mr. Dudley. You ruined the punchline of my Japanese golfer joke. And with that, he slammed the door and walked away. Harry took Dobby back out the wardrobe and sat him on the bed. I don't like it in that wardrobe. Don't put me in it again, said Dobby. What are you doing, Dobby, said Harry. Well, if you're not going to say you won't go back to school, I'll have to do this. And Dobby took Harry's letters and ran down the stairs. Get back here this instant, said Harry, chasing after Dobby down the stairs. Soon, Dobby was down in the kitchen and so was Harry. Dobby turned and looked at Harry. I need to do this. You need to say you're not going back to school and I will do this, said Dobby. No, Dobby. Dobby snapped his, snapped his fingers. A cake went flying across the room and hurt Mrs Mason in the face. Then Dobby disappeared. Harry Potter, I am angry with you, said Mr Dursley. Being so horrible to her like that, say so as to Mr. Mrs Mason. We, the next day Mr Dursley was drilling bars onto Harry Potter's bedroom window. There'll be no escaping, Mr Potter, said Mr. Dursley. And that is the end of this chapter. There will be more in the next chapter.